Jimmy Caldwell one minute out. You know, I've spent 21 years in special operations, a lot of time under nods and night vision, and now I'm out with my company one minute out and doing a lot of NVG training for both law enforcement and government agencies. And one of the things that we do talk about a lot and cover is gun lights for our pistol. You know, here I have the new Walther PDP, and I've got a uh, Surefire X300 gun light, and this one is equipped with the pressure pad. So I've got the pressure pad switch on here, which also gives me the constant on off switch at the back of the light. So I have two different methods that I can activate this light. You know, and this is one of my favorite lights that I like to run. You know, I'm just running the white light here. And as you can see, I've got the new, the aim point acro that's here. Now, using a red dot at night when we shoot in the dark or utilizing low light conditions or when we're going to utilize a gun light gives you a huge advantage. Because once you splash that white light onto the target and you look through, it's almost just like having a red laser on the target, we can clearly see that dot. It's easy to illuminate our target, see what the threat is, see what it's doing, and then be able to engage accurately and quickly utilizing both the red dot and our white light. So as we're going through this drill, the only key thing that I need to make sure that I do for the setup that I have is engage my pressure pad. So this is gonna be with my firing hand. So once I grip the pistol, my middle finger comes across the part of that pressure pad. So now as I go ahead and squeeze my grip, it activates the light. Now, the other thing that we wanna make sure that we do is if we've been shooting our red dot during the day and it's been a bright sunny day, we may have it cranked up. The acro is very easy because it's got an up down switch on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that down a couple notches. So we wanna make sure that we do check that out before we leave. If we're gonna run this for our you know, carry that night, make sure that we check it at the house with the white light and with our red dot setting to make sure it's dim enough so it doesn't bright us out when we're looking through it, all right? Because obviously our eyes are gonna be adjusted a little bit more to the dark. So this, if it's too bright, it can white us out, you know, in, in our eyes. So I'm gonna dim this down a little bit. When I grab the pistol and complete that grip, I'm squeezing, which is gonna activate my white light. And then everything else is exactly the same that I did during the daytime. I'm gonna complete my grip. I'm gonna push the pistol out, present the pistol, get my dot on target, prep the trigger. And then once I'm ready and I have a good sight picture, that's when I'm gonna squeeze the round. So doing this, Make sure that you practice that, you know, at night on the range or in low light conditions with this setup, but it's really no different than when we're shooting during the day, which is the nice thing with this complete setup. So let's go ahead and shoot a few rounds and I'll show you how easy it is. All right, so all we're gonna do when I complete my grip is make sure I activate that light, push the pistol out, prep the trigger once sights are settled. Right there on target, all right? It's that easy with the acro, the red dot, and with my surefire light. All right, here I have my Walther PDP with iron sights. So now the iron sights, the only difference is when I present the pistol out and I illuminate, so I turn my white light on, now, believe it or not, you're gonna be able to pick up your irons with no problem at all. It'll be just like it's daylight. By having all that illumination on the target, I'm easily be able to pick up that rear sight, the gap in there, and my front sight post, line everything up just as if it was daylight, and be effective, squeeze rounds right on target effectively every time. But make sure you get out to the range and practice with either your iron sight setup or your red dot setup with your white light.